Hello, my darlings, and welcome. Thank you for joining me as I create some cute painted rabbit decorations for Ostara and the spring equinox. Let's do some magical crafting. I will be making rabbit decorations with three very different designs. I'd love to know which one you think came out the best in the end, so be sure to let me know in the comments which one you liked the best. I'm starting out by painting some unfinished wooden rabbits. I'll leave links to all of the materials I used in this craft project below the video. These rabbits came with the center top hole and the eye holes already drilled. I drilled the four small holes at the bottom. To do this, you can use a pen vise hand drill with the smallest 8mm drill bit, or you can use a regular electric or battery powered drill with a 1 16th sized hex shank drill bit. I'm going to do three different designs, and so I'm painting the rabbits in three different colors Cafe Latte Brown a citrus green, and a dark navy blue. I'm using acrylic paint, but you could use any kind of paint you have on hand. While the rabbits are drying, I'm getting some of my other decorations together. Because I make jewelry, I have these metallic star, moon, and pentagram charms that I'll be adding. I'll also be using these white, green, and orange beads. With the blue rabbit, I wanted to create a simple night sky theme with a crescent moon and stars. I'm using a white Posca paint pen to draw my moon and stars. On the green rabbit, I'm drawing flowers and leaves in a kind of folk pattern, following the shapes of the rabbit and adding an eye, nose, mouth, and whiskers. The brown rabbit is a little more complex. I'm painting a more realistic bunny, starting with the white paint pen and then blending with brown and tan acrylic paints, and finally adding black accents with a waterproof fine liner pen. The next step is to create some fun decorations to dangle from the bottom of each rabbit. I'm using jewelry wire and beads and metal charms. I'm using white, green, and orange beads to decorate the brown rabbit. I 
I really like the way these sparkly dangles came out. To finish the brown rabbit, I used both green and orange waxed cord to create a hanger. I painted two large wooden beads, green and orange, and strung them on the cord separated with knots. And here's the completed brown rabbit decoration. I think I may put this one in my altar space for Ostara. For the dark blue rabbit, I decided to make all of the dangles in silver and white to match the white stars and moon on the rabbit. The finishing hanger is white waxed cord with a painted white wooden bead. And here's the completed dark blue rabbit decoration. I will hang this one in my entryway to greet my guests. I added a green waxed cord to the green rabbit with a few small green beads along the cord. And then I added some white and green beaded dangles from the bottom of the rabbit. And here is the completed green rabbit decoration. She will hang in my kitchen to watch over all of my kitchen witchery. I love the way all three of my rabbit decorations came out. Each design is so different. Let me know in the comments which one you like the best. I hope this video provides you some ideas on how to make your own Ostara decor and inspires you to celebrate the spring equinox and I hope you have a most blessed Ostara season.